So you guys want to plan the trip to the happiest place on earth, but you're just so unsure of what month to go? Well, I'm here to tell you why I think September is the best month to visit Walt Disney World. If you guys are interested, then keep on watching. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Megan, if you're new here, thank you for joining me. On this video, I'm gonna be telling you all the reasons why September is the best month to visit Walt Disney World. Now we're gonna start with all the positives of visiting Walt Disney World in September. Now don't get me wrong, there isn't negatives. There's just a few things that I wanna make you guys aware of. I don't want you to go in September and say, hey Megan, you didn't tell me about that, so I will not be caught out. I am telling you guys everything. So let's start with the good stuff. Now my first thing I wanna tell you guys about is the crowd levels, and that's because the crowd levels in September are amazing they are literally non-existent this is such a good time to go simply for this reason this could be because we've just come out of peak season months now what i mean by that is the really high months that have a lot of crowds a lot of people so that's june july august now that's because all the kids are at school there's gonna be big families there but in september the kids have gone back to school the adults have gone back to work and it's so empty in the parks this means when the crowd levels are smaller the queue times are smaller and it makes it so much easier to get the fast passes you want and make those important dining reservations. As you guys are aware, if you're staying on site at a Disney hotel, you have 60 days to book your fast passes and those all important dining reservations. However, if you're staying off site, perhaps Universal, an international drive hotel or a villa, you only have 30 days to make your fast passes and your dining reservations. So this can be tricky on a really high peak month. This is where September gets really exciting. Now, because those crowd levels are lower, there's not as many people trying to snatch those fast passes and grab those reservations. So the people that are staying off site, this could be a massive plus point on when to go. Think of it like this. The less people go into Walt Disney World, the more chance you guys are gonna have to get those fast passes and dining reservations and for me I hope I speak for you guys as well they are so important getting those fast passes and those reservations can really make your trip another reason for going to Walt Disney World in September is those Halloween decorations the minute it hits September in Walt Disney World those Halloween decorations come to life they are covered in all of the parks and they are absolutely spectacular pumpkins here pumpkins there you are truly transported into the Halloween season not only do the Halloween decorations make amazing Instagram pictures but it's just so nice to see all of the parks completely dressed for a new season talking about Halloween another positive about going to Walt Disney World in September is this is when the best dates are for Mickey's not so scary Halloween party I know what you're thinking surely the best dates are gonna be in October however October now is actually known as a peak month this is something that's changed over the years now October used to be quite low in terms of crowds people visiting however with a lot of people finding out that October was so quiet in turn over the years it just got more and more busy and October started to become a peak month so if you do want to attend Mickey's not so scary Halloween party trust me go in September you can still experience it all the same but the dates there is so much more to choose from it's not going to be as busy you will thank me in the long run Mickey's not so scary Halloween party isn't actually the only event that takes place in September another positive about going in September is you can attend the Epcot food and wine festival the Epcot food and wine festival actually takes place around the world showcase this festival runs from the very end of August to the middle of November however with the crowds being so low in September this really is the best time to go you're going to get the most out of this festival the best best thing about going to the Epcot Food and Wine Festival is the fact that you can sample so many new cuisines. With all these events and festivals going on, it just makes September a so much more appealing time to go. As I mentioned earlier with September being an off-peak month, this is actually a huge positive. Disney and travel agents have recognised that September is a lot more quieter, so this means that holiday prices, hotels, they're going to lower their prices as well as offer us discount. What more could we want? Disney World for cheaper, so that's why September is such a good time to go. We've now got to the part of the video where I want to tell you guys a few things to be aware of when booking in September. Don't worry, these aren't negative things, I just want to be completely transparent for if you guys are to book for September. There's only two little things that I want to tell you. Now number one is the weather. The weather in Orlando is always boiling hot but it can be up and down in terms of thunderstorms. September is actually quite heavy for thunderstorms. When I went in September last time we had a thunderstorm at least once a day. When I say thunderstorms, don't be worried, I mean like a 10-15 minute downpour. You can go in, get a drink and when you come out again the sun's shining and it's nearly drying up from the humidity. The weather in September really isn't that bad. I just want to let you guys know because if there is a thunderstorm then that does mean ride closures. Now when we went in September once, we were actually at Typhoon Lagoon I think and it rained, there was a thunderstorm that lasted about 15 minutes. The rides did go down just for health and safety reasons but we just grabbed a cabana, got some hot donuts and we were good. Now the two things to be aware of guys is actually the shorter park hours. You guys are probably thinking, shorter hours? I want as many hours 
as I possibly can. However, this actually isn't a bad thing. Because of those low crowd levels I was telling you guys about earlier, it actually means that you're probably going to get on all of your favourite rides in one day anyway. Disney wouldn't lower its park hours if it didn't need to. For example, in the higher months, you can go from like 7am to 1am, but that's because it's so busy and they're just aware that people are going and they need to fit everything in. However, in September, because the crowd levels are a lot smaller, you don't need as much time to get on everything. And it means you have a lion in the morning and you don't have to have such a late night. So I think it's a good thing. There you have it guys, they're all the reasons why I believe September is the best month to visit Walt Disney World. Let me know in the comments if you guys have also been in September, or if there's any other months that you'd highly recommend. And if you guys want to see any more Disney deals, tips and tricks from me, then remember to hit that notification bell, click that subscribe button, because in the next video I'm going to be telling you guys the 9 mistakes everybody makes when they go to Walt Disney World. You don't want to miss it guys, thank you so much for watching, dream big, make magic, and I'll see you in the next one, bye!